Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. We got breaking news. Russell Wilson is going to sign a one-year deal with the Pittsburgh Steelers per Adam Schefter. Nine-time Pro Bowl quarterback and former Super Bowl champ Russell Wilson plans to sign with the Pittsburgh Steelers per league source. Wilson will sign a team-friendly one-year deal, which the Broncos will wind up paying $38 million of his salary uh, while Wilson wears the black and yellow. I have a question. Yes. How's that, how's that breaking news? And I told you that a few shows ago where he was going. Yeah. I, I told uh, you, I, I I'm the scoop. I scoop Adam Schefter about a month ago. I I, I know things. Russell Wilson his career against Mike Tomlin: two starts, two and zero, eight touchdowns, zero interceptions, six hundred and forty five passing yards, one hundred and forty seven point one passer rating. Now he joins Mike Tomlin. It seems like uh, Deont. I read. I don't know if this is true, but I think Deontay Johnson is on the trading block. Tra Listen, I don't. I don't think they should do that. I'm, I'm, I personally don't think they should do that. You have someone that knows you, you have someone that knows the offense. You have someone that knows the system. You're bringing in a Super Bowl winning quarterback. You bring in a perennial playoff quarterback. Allow him to have and keep the weapons like Deontay Johnson and George Pickens. Deontay Johnson is saucy with it now. He what, can do what, a lot. He can he can do a lot on the on, on the outside. Let him stay there. Let him let him play it. Let him what play are the Pittsburgh Steelers known for? If they can't draft any other position, what position can they draft, Ocho? Receivers, <laughs> yeah. Go back. Uh, we we can pick it up with Swan and Stallworth and mm -hmm. Louis Lips, and we can come mm -hmm. on forward. Mm -hmm. Hines Ward, Yancy yeah. Thick Pen. Yeah. Uh, you had Emmanuel Sanders. What's mm -hmm. that speed guy name? Uh, uh, they ended up going to Miami. Um, Plexico, Santonio San Holmes, Antonio on. Brown. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm listen. I, I know what I get. I know what I get with Deontay Johnson. I know Mike what I Wallace. get. I, Mike Wallace is his name. Mike Wallace. Yeah, yeah. Mike, 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 Wallace. Mike Wallace could fly. Mike, boy, that boy could fly. Yeah, he could. Yeah, he could. <laughs> I, I I don't know, but to, I mean, there's some good. This is this is uh, this draft is a year of the receiver now. This this oh, is a good draft with a year of the receiver. But I know what I, I get with this. I know what I get with Deontay Johnson. That's why I'm saying don't let don't let him go. I know I don't get hustle all the time from Deontay Johnson. Since you say I know what I get. What did I tell you all year? Ocho, I've been telling you this. I said, Ocho, they'll tolerate you till they can replace you. Right. You ain't want to hear what I had to say. I said, Ocho, I'm telling you, you've been in this league. I said, they'll yeah. tolerate you. It's yeah. just like a relationship. Mm -hmm. You treat your girl a certain way, and she going to tolerate you until that one guy come along. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you were like, well, hey, baby, I do all. No, no, it's too late. Yeah. People will tolerate behavior until they can replace you. On the workforce, oh, he was a great worker, but he just showed up late. As soon as they find somebody that can do a job that's adequate, just like mm -hmm. you, and mm -hmm. they show up on time, guess where you going, Ocho? Out the door. Yeah. That's why you got to be special at what you do, because it ain't easy to repay special. But I, I hear you. Antonio Brown was special. What did they do? He had oh. just gave him 112 plus catches. What did they do, Ocho? Have they, re they have they replaced that that production so, yet? What? Hold on, let me ask you a question. Have they replaced that type? How of many games? Yet? How many games did they win with Antonio Brown? And that's not that's that, that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about winning games. Ocho, I'm, I'm talking I, about. I can lose. Have I can they lose been able with to him. replace that type of production? I can. Yet? I can. Let me ask you a question, Ocho. Uh -huh. I can lose with him. What does uh -huh. he do? Okay, he gave me 130 catches, and what was that got me? How many Super Bowls did that get me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We talk about the Pacific players, the team game. I said, okay. have they been able? Have they been able to fulfill that production? That's all I'm asking. No, he's he's special. He was special. He's I'm so, just I'm so, just saying. Think about think about what you said. Oakland got rid of him. Okay, Pittsburgh got rid of him. Oakland got rid of him. New England got rid of him. Tampa got rid of him. Now tell the people at home why he's special. No, but why did they get rid of him? We talk about production. Now we talk. We, I'm, we talk about production. That's tolerance I, over. Hold on. This is what I'm telling you. This is what I'm always going to tell people all the time, and I tell them this, and you've heard me say it. Tolerance and production. As long as production is here, tolerance is here. Tolerance would never be over production. Yeah. Never. Yeah. But you 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 flipped the coin. I wasn't talking about that. I know what happened. On, oh, I'm I'm talking about tolerance in, and production. In so Pittsburgh. why did they get rid of Mojo? 
Oh, he would. Uh, did, did you do you did you not see his numbers the last year in Pittsburgh? But, Why did they get rid of him? Why were they really to get rid of him, Ocho? That that's inside personal issues. I ain't got. Any, I'm talking about production. That's that, it. Ocho, you making my point? They're telling you even with that production, his tolerance had gotten too much to bear. Okay, but listen to me. That's what I'm saying. Have they been able to replicate or find someone that could produce in that manner? That's, I'm just saying no, they haven't. That's all. Yeah. The question is, would I rather have somebody that's going to show up on time, do the right thing, give me 13, 12, 1300 yards, or would I have someone mm. miss meetings, behave in a manner that's unbecoming mm. to what I believe in as a team, right? and give me 1600 yards, yeah. give me the 12, 1300? Yeah, I understand. I understand what you're saying. I'm just, I just had to, just making that point. You know, as far as why I don't want them to just let Deontay Johnson walk because offensively he is a threat from the outside and the inside, and you can do more offensively with someone like that. That's all. That's all. What if I get me a rookie that's hungry, that's gonna do the right thing, that's gonna bust his ass? Mm. I got you. Oh, I, like so it. I keep telling you. I, See, I like you it. don't want to. Do you understand what tolerance and production? So for the kind of production Deontay Johnson gave you, you tolerating that kind of behavior? Wait, whoa! I, I, I what did he do? I don't know what he did. Huh? I know about the the one. Remember when the guy fumbled the ball? Yeah, I remember that. Remember when the guy throw the ball across there, throw the ball to the middle, and he threw it one hand. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, I remember vaguely, 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 okay. vaguely, okay, vaguely, vaguely. Here are the two things right here, people at home. This is what I want you to look. This is tolerance. This is production. As long as production is here. Tolerance can be here. They can never get out of balance. Yeah. The moment tolerance is higher than production, mm -hmm. production, tolerance. Tolerance, production, bye-bye said player. How many times have you seen it, Ocho? You've seen great players get cut, get moved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Russell Wilson would not serve as the comp uh, competitor to Kenny Pickett in one of the most fascinating camp ba uh, battles. He'll cost Pittsburgh one point two million. Wait, hold on. Camp uh, what? I can say Kenny Pickett. Hey, 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 hey. A camp hey. what? <laughs> they say it's going to be a, a fascinating camp battle. Yeah, please. That's what they get. Whoever wrote that okay, shit. Okay, he's, he's going to sign. I'm sure he has incentives to win the job. X amount of wins, X amount of touchdowns, make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So he probably can make $10 million, $15 million. Yeah. He's already got $38 on, million yeah, on, on, on top of the 38 he got coming anyway. Right. I, 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 don't, I don't even think money's the issue. And I, I, say, I, 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 I say it again, as much as I love my Bengals, you know, and my allegiances will always be to them. This is a good move for the Steelers to get where they're trying to get to. That's back on to the road of winning formula and playoff football. Uh, Russell Wilson was uh, uh, he'll come. Okay, we read that. Wilson, um, you know, he still can throw the ball, he oh, still yeah. throws a great deep ain't nothing, ball. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with his arm, ain't nothing wrong with that. The question is, Arthur Smith, big, I mean, play action. How well, Jalen, uh, uh, Jalen, what's Jalen? Um, I Jaylen Hurts? last name, no, 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 the running back, you know, they have the, the kid out of Alabama, the one kid, Najee Harris. Number, Najee Harris, but yeah. they got uh, 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 the other running back runs oh, the hard. Fat, the, number the fast one. Yeah, yeah. He won number, he won number 30. I can't 30, remember, yeah, I can't yeah, remember yeah. his name. Play action. Yeah. Arthur Smith, if you look at it, he was the head coach in Atlanta. He liked to throw the ball over the middle. Russ likes to throw the ball, throw the ball outside. Right. But the play action, mm -hmm. Russ is really good at play action. Yeah, especially really good at play. the running game. Jalen Warren, game. that's his name, Jalen Warren. Okay. Russ is really Russ is great at play action. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy for Russ. He finds a home. Um he hey, goes in. He hey, I, I like I said, I I think this is the first chance that he, he gets a first a uh, fresh start. Mm -hmm. Um the one thing about Mike Tomlin is like what you did over there, what you did over what you did over there and over yonder, doesn't matter. You in Pittsburgh now. Yeah. And when you come in here, everybody gets a fresh start. Yeah. And yeah. that's something I don't believe Russ got. Yeah. In Denver with, 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 with Sean Payton. Now, did he get a fresh start? He got everything. He got the red carpet rolled out. Mm -hmm. I ain't telling you what somebody told you. I'm telling you what I know. No. He got the red carpet rolled out in Denver yeah. originally. But when Sean Payton came in, 
Sean Payton was like, he believed, not, I'm just talking, I didn't talk to anybody, but this is how I look at it. Right, right. I believe Sean Payton felt that the culture that was fostered was led by Russ, and he didn't mm -hmm. forgive him for that. He believed that that was the reason why they were losing games. Yeah. Now, that could or could not be true. I think there were other reasons. There were other factors. Yeah. But when he got there and some of the things that were going on, he was disgusted. Mm -hmm. Literally. He came in with an iron fist. He came in, shut all of fist. that. Yeah. And you heard what he said when he first got there. He said, I'm not familiar with that, but that will not be going on when yeah. I'm here. Yeah. And I think that was a start of a not turmoil, but with thing changed. Yeah. Now, having two lockers is not anything new. Hell, mm -hmm. I had two lockers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had two lockers. Right. But there, but here's the thing, Ocho, with great players. And all players, and you you were a, a great player on Cincinnati. And you got certain things that other players couldn't get. Now, I talked about if I needed an extra parking pass, if I needed certain things, I could go to Mike, I could go mm -hmm. to the ticket guys, and I could get it. But the one thing I was very cautious of was not to abuse those privileges, especially now. I don't know if you watched the interview I did with 21 Savage, mm -hmm. 21 Savage, his dad, and he had a brother. Yeah. 21 Savage said his dad really didn't do a whole lot for him. Like he wouldn't buy him things, wouldn't take him anywhere, but he mm -hmm. did that for his younger brother. Mm -hmm. Savage said he grew to resent his brother. Now he's right. a child. He didn't know. If you're not careful, when you get certain things, even though you don't think it's a big deal, right? people will grow to, to despise you. Mm -hmm. And they'll despise the person that's giving you those things. Mm -hmm. Savage had an issue with his dad, and right. he had an issue with his brother. He shouldn't have had an issue with his brother. It's his dad. That's a child. If I had, one of your kids ask you for something, Ocho, mm -hmm. you don't believe it, test it out. Oh, yeah. Let one of your kids ask you for something and you give, give, give. Mm -hmm. And one of your other children or some of your other children ask and you don't give them nothing. Mm -hmm. They'll grow to despise the kid that you're giving that stuff to. Yeah. And so listen, we, we all, we all, everybody get equal over here. Everything. Everybody, everybody, everybody get the equal. same amount. Hey, this is what, hey, this is what, hey, if they got a raise in child support, mm -hmm. you got a raise in child support. Everybody yeah. got the same thing. Okay, private school, hey, this is what they, don't be going over there talking about, oh, I want to go to this $25,000 a year private school. No, 15000 is the cutoff. So find one in that range. Right. Okay, hey, you don't want no Barbie dolls? Okay, this is what, hey, this is what the gifts are. Right. Because I didn't want anybody to feel like, because, you know, the thing is sometimes, you know, a child can feel like you're showing favoritism. Mm-hmm. And you don't ever want the child to feel like, you know, you're showing favoritism. Mm -hmm. So you try to do equally for all. Right. And right. it's just like a football team. Don't mm -hmm. abuse their privileges. That's mm -hmm. what I would, I would, hey. And a lot of times if, if somebody needed something, I would like, hey, I would get it and give it to them. Right. Hey, Sean, man, can you get, hey, can you get some extra tickets? Oh, what you need? Man, I need, I need like three or four. Okay. How many you need? Hey, can you, can you get, can you get four? Odd numbers. I'm like, man, they don't really want to do odd numbers because now you're left with a single. I said, I can yeah. either get you two or I can get you four. One or the other. Tell me where you want to sit seated. Because mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times, you know, hey, I need some over here and I need some over there. Right. I can't put you in my section because I can't have your gossiping ass in my section. Right, so right. I put you over here or I put you over there. Just tell me what you need. So I was very. You need a parking pass, okay? I got you. Because mm -hmm. like I said, I understood who I was. Mike right. trusted me. The ticket mm -hmm. guy, they trusted me. I could do certain things. I would do that for some of my teammates. Not right. everybody now. You couldn't be no jackass and think I was going to help you out. And I right. know who was, who was horse dicking around. Mm -hmm. So I was very, I was, I, I was very cautious of things like that. And Mike know, he knew like if I came and I asked him for something, like, we used to watch the fight. I would go to Mike and say, man, sure. I was always the guy, Sean, man, ask Mike for this or ask Mike for that. Right. Hey, Mike, man, you know that fight coming on. He's like, 84 what fight? I said, the Tyson Holyfield. I said, guys want to watch that thing. Yeah. Um, When's it coming on? I say, Saturday. Night for the game. He's like, you think the guys, gonna, you know, that's not going to be too late. 
I, I got this. Can we get the fight? Right. We got the fight. So check this out, Ocho. So you know me being, yeah. so I told my homeboy Burns. I yeah. Burns, I got this surprise for him. He said, what you got? So I go, I, we go upstairs. So the fight get ready to come back on. Yeah. I cut a hole in the towel. I got me some black boots. I got some shorts. I got all like just just like Mike Tyson come to the ring, boxing yes. gloves and everything. Yeah. So the lights, so the lights, the lights are low. So yeah. I come with that thing, banging my gloves together. <laughs> they died. Like, hey, everybody had a blast. We right. almost lost to the Bears <laughs> that next game, but the uh, Tito Trinidad. Mm. De La Hoya. If there's yeah. a fight going on, hey. I ask Mike. Hey, Sean, fight, I ask Mike. Fight. Yes, them, ask. Them, some, them some good fights now. You name it. Yes. Them. Yes, for sure. For sure. For sure. I, but I always did what I thought was going to be in the best interest of the team right. or what would bring the team together. Mm. That was. So.